Welcome, Hope Savara here. You're here for day one of my 40 day practice. And so I wanna welcome you to your mat and just be open and willing to receive whatever comes my way and whatever comes your way. Let's begin. Tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Bend your elbows to turn the folds of the elbows forward. Let's feel the broadness through the upper back and just really plant yourself onto your hands and knees. Take a moment and close your eyes. And without overthinking your practice, let's just start to rock. And so not quite to the heels and not too far forward, but as you feel this rocking motion, again, your eyes softly closed, really allow yourself to turn inward. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. What does that word acceptance really mean? How does it stream through in my life, in my heart, in every one of my actions, in my everyday life? Do I really accept the things around me, or am I just masking that which I feel is really acceptance? Accept your practice, accept your body's limitations today, and know that that is just today. Rather than allowing yourself to make excuses in your head while you're on your mat with me, just breathe and experience. If your body says no to something, honor that. Do something else. If your body says yes to it, pay full attention. And notice where maybe you can work just a little bit harder or offer just a little bit more forgiveness. Now soften back to tabletop position. Curl your toes under, bend your elbows slightly, and on an inhalation, not only sink the belly and let your sit bones open, but traction back on your hands and press through your arms, chest forward. Now let's reverse the process into cat, cat pose by leading with your pelvic floor and tailbone. Lift through your lower back, but now lean into your heels, chin to chest. Bend your elbows, slide forward, tailbone turns up, sit bones open. Yes, belly drops, but feel the space between the sternum and your pubis bone. And then again, exhale. Inhale, elbows bend. And exhale. So now the reason why I have you bending your elbows into your cow pose is that if you do have a restricted shoulder girdle, working with straight arms on that transition can really limit the ability for you to open and actually extend your spine in that way. Pelvic floor is strong, especially on your cat. Watch not to let the shoulders round or the elbows turn inward. One more time, exhale. And inhale, a little bit of core work as you release the spine. Nice, and then back into a tabletop. Curl your toes under, bend your elbows, hug them tight, and move back into a downward facing dot. Legs and arms are the last things to extend. Let's walk your dot. Noticing which direction your feet turn, try to keep your ankle nice and neutral. Spread your fingertips and ground through your fingers as you lift your hips and breathe consciously. Inhale deeply, lift through your plank, really draw in on your front core and roll yourself into Plankasana. Yes, shoulders are over the wrists, fingertips wide. Slide them back. Your knees are there. Feel free to use them. Push down into the fingertips without hunching the back. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Engage through the pelvic floor and feel the inner thighs turn on. Now drop your left knee and open towards me into side plank. So wrist, knee, foot, and arch. Elbow bends and then extends. Turn the eyes of your heart up. Turn the fold of your bottom elbow towards your middle finger. Now lift your bottom foot and touch the toes to the calf. Inhale through the nose. Keep turning your rib cage. Exhale through the nose, chin tight to either shoulder. One more breath. Now inhale just for fun, let the top arm drop open. Bend your elbow, shoot the arm down, plank position, inhale. 
Collect yourself. Now back knee down. I'm going to turn away from you. Fold the elbow forward. Turn your trunk first. The arm is the last thing to extend. It's like the decoration on a present. And then feel free to lift the arch and foot of the bottom leg to the calf. Breathe. Exhale, bend the elbow. Oh, let's open it up. Sorry about that. Open the arm up and then bend the top elbow. Drop the arm down. Plank position. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, bend your knees and elbows. Lift through your core. So draw yourself back. Deep transversus contraction. And again, a nice strong dog pose. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Really press down through your pinky finger. Really spread wide through the palm of the hand. Keeping your hips square. Now lift your right leg. Flex the foot and extend long from your palms to your heel. Inhale, come high to the ball of the base foot. Tuck the knee in tight. Now roll through plank as you step the foot forward into your runner's lunge. Square the hip. So the hip of the front leg pulls back. Should feel a little bit more hip and leg work that way. Roll up through and into high lunge. Now if your hips are tighter, bend the back knee and re-square. Engage the inner thighs. Bend your elbows. Inhale, extend. Inflate your lungs wide. Breathe and soften the jaw. Exhale, hands to heart. Keeping the front knee from sinking outward towards the pinky toe, turn your torso towards me or towards the front leg. Hugging the knee in. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And open your arms, either palms forward or palms up. Really drop your shoulders. Turn in your trunk, not just your arms. Gonna look forward, towards me, or towards the back hand. Now breathe. Really challenge the rotation of the neck. Bend your back elbow, releasing down. Let your spine unwind. Step forward, standing forward bend. Never locking the knees. Keep the knees soft, maybe even bent. Hug your sit bones and ground through your feet. Bend your knees. Step back one foot at a time. Plank position. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, keeping your upper body nice and steady. Bend your knees just a few inches up off the mat. Hold, keeping your front core drawn in nice and actively. Pelvic floor is strong. We're never sucking in. We're just really trying to stiffen. Now press into your fingertips. Hold and breathe. On the exhalation, keep your core contraction. Float your hips up and back, downward dog. Now the folds of the elbows should be forward, not inward. Rebend the elbows if necessary. And really see if you can start to feel a spread of your upper shoulder blades. Breathe in down dog. Nice alternative to down dog would be on the knees, moving back here, or even in puppy dog on your forearms. Left leg rises, keep the hips square. Really reach long. High to the ball of the foot. Yes, the knee tucks in, but lift as you roll through to make space for the foot. Runner's lunge on the inhale. On the exhale, engage the inner thighs. Lift from your deep core and roll yourself up like little men are inside of you stacking your spine. Next inhalation, arms come up overhead. Bring the hip of the back leg forward. If you're feeling locked up, bend the knee to help you really realign. Find a focal point and breathe. For my practice today, it's acceptance. Acceptance because I'm getting spring fever and I'm trying to stay in the moment and really just acknowledge the fact that life is beautiful. 
Now exhale, hands to the heart. Turn from your trunk. Inhale, engage the inner thighs. Go as far as you can, work up the waistline. Feel free to keep your hands at your ribs or your heart. Extend, palms in or forward or up. Really challenge the neck here. Go a little bit deeper. Now bend the back elbow, unwind, give your spine time to readjust. Step forward again, standing forward bend. Bend the knees so that the chest, not necessarily the chest, but the belly and the thighs can come closer. Hug your sitting bones and even the weight on your feet. Bend your knees, step back again into plank. Create awareness to the position of your hands, awareness to the position of your chest. Really bring the chest nice and long. When we hunch, we stay stuck in our chest muscles. I want you to shift that strength into your core. Now again, drop your left knee. This time, turn your left toes towards the back of the room and just align the arch of the foot with the inside of the knee. Lift through the elbow so we can emphasize that chest rotation. Fold the elbow towards the middle finger. Now turn, 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 little stretch to the groin. Elbow bends and then extends alongside the head. We're not turning the arm up and open, we're actually rotating it in. Now stretch from your foot to your extending arm. Drop your head back. Keep reaching towards, it would be my window, but keep reaching towards the wall possibly and rotate back into a tabletop. Bend your elbows, inhale, cow's pose, try not to get stuck, really extend. Exhale, lead through the pelvic floor, tuck your tail, lift through the lower back and now spread your spine as you lean back. Bend your elbows, inhale, glide forward. Arms are the last thing to extend. Exhale, come into table. Let's try the opposite side. Start in plank. Slow your breathing, slow your awareness. Drop your right knee, turn your right toes now, probably toward me. Line up the inside arch of the foot with the inside of the knee. Turn the fold of the elbow, really important to get your foundation first. Turn from your belly, lungs, and sternum. Feel free, the arm can stay up or don't even extend it at all. You can also look down with the head. If you're extending the arm, bend, rotate it inward, and then extend. Drop the head, and now stretch foot to fingertips. Let's take five good breaths. No stagnation. Reach to the window or towards the top of the mat, rotate down, tabletop position, two rounds of cat-cow. Bending the elbows, lead with the lower spine, let the upper spine feel that movement. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come into a tabletop position, step your left foot forward. So left foot comes forward, let's walk the foot wide so that the knee is in line with its ankle more or less. Keep the foot totally flat on the mat. Keep your back knee behind its hip so my leg looks like a nice tail. It's not tucking in, it's right behind its hip socket. Exhale with a strong front core, lower yourself down maybe to blocks, maybe to a cushion, otherwise stay on your palms or come to the floor. Extend your forearms forward of your shoulders to give you this space in the idea of creating nice extension. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Keep hugging the big toe and the front foot flat to the mat as the knee sinks out to the side. So some really deep socket work here.
Inhale now. Either stay on your forearms or come to a block or your palms. Lift the back knee, press your thigh to the sky. Now hug the front knee to the center line. Extend your body, really move long. Let's just create a little bit of some motion front and back. Push through the back heel and then come forward. Feel a little bit of a stretch in the front knee. Deep core is strong, so the belly's not hanging and creating vulnerability in the lower back. Now back to center, palms to the mat. Lift your body up, turn your feet parallel into straddle towards me. Exhale, folding forward. Stay grounded through the feet and try not to let the arches collapse or the ankles bow out. Really create a relationship with staying grounded and rooted. And then inhale, bring your torso part way up, turn to the opposite side. Nice deep hip stretch. Drop the back knee, check the ankle if you know that leg swings in. Walk the front leg wide. And as the knee again sinks out to the side, keep the front foot anchored. Make sure the foot is totally flat, otherwise that will really create a, maybe an uncomfortable position for the knee or for the hip when you come forward. Long spine, extend as you exhale, full. Feel free to use your elbow or hand to pin the foot down. Inhale through the nose, lengthen rather than hunch. Exhale through the nose, lots of heaviness. Exhale, breathe deeply. Today I accept that I can only do what I can do. Today I accept that my limitations are limitations today, but they may not be limitations tomorrow. Today I accept all of the wrongs I may have done in the past, and I will work to make it a point not to drag them with, drag them with into the present. Breathe. And if your mind starts to float away from the mat, bring yourself back. All right, either coming up onto blocks or up onto your palms. If not, stay on your forearms if you can be comfortable. Roll the back toes under, firm your thigh muscle, and let's do a little rocking front to back. So press through the heel, and then come forward with the toes, a little bit of a stretch on the front knee. Hug the front leg to the center line. So inhale coming forward and exhale coming back. If the breath makes more sense for you to flip it, go for it. I just want you breathing. Stay strong through your shoulder girdle. There is going to be a little bit of work there. And then even it out. Bring your palms to the mat. Lift your hips to step back into downward facing dog just for a moment then drop your knees to the mat knees wide sit back towards your heels forehead towards the floor make it a point to really extend but not take your shoulders with so really bring them back Nice big breath in, exhale, strong pelvic core, glide forward, parallel out the legs, hands are under the shoulders, elbows lifted, inhale, root your pubis bone, lift through the deep belly, so on the exhalation, draw yourself up, notice how my shoulders curl forward, I'm coming up, almost like a snake would, elbows turn in as your palms kiss, pull back on your hands, then move your sternum out, inhale at the top. Tops of the feet rooted. Inhale, press with your palms rather than lock into your shoulders and elbows. Again, those joints will really keep you from moving into the full spaciousness of the body. So bend, and it will actually give you more space. Even if you're down here, I'm fine with that. On the next exhale, roll down, bend your knees and grab the ankles from the inside. 
If you find that your feet are a little far away from you, you can mimic and interlace the fingers and flex the feet, bring them in, or grab a necktie or a strap or a towel and hold the towel, most likely from the outside, but you can still rotate the arms, palms to face out. Flex your feet, create a nice anchor, and just gently hug your heels in towards each other. Now breathe into your lungs. Exhale, breathe out. Focus on lifting your chest first. Feel the openness of the shoulders. As you choose to lift the feet, watch not to let the legs go wide. Most of us do tend to be a little stronger in the lower body or tighter in the upper body. So really focus on that chest. One more breath and then exhale down. Hand over hand, let your forehead rest on your hands. Soften everything. Inhale, come up off the forehead. Plant into your right forearm. Turn your fingertips to the side so it kind of looks like the cross of a T. Keeping your left knee pointing back, bend the left knee and grab for the top of the foot. So just grabbing that foot may feel like, okay, that's about all I can handle. Great, stay there. Again, use your strap. Props are awesome. Slowly start otherwise to press the foot towards the floor. Now, if you're feeling a little kinky in your ankle, feel free to roll it out or hold the ankle itself instead as you bring the leg towards the floor. Only go as far as you can honor the knee and keep the knee from spinning out. Fingertips towards your toes, elbow high, shoulder is open, bottom hand is supportive, so a little bit of work in the opposite shoulder. Breathe. Nice little variation of frog here. Inner core is strong, that means that deep transversus muscle, rather than sinking and hunching. And then release it out. Flex the foot for a moment. Just reach to the heel. Nice work. Release that leg. Let's try the opposite side. Bend your left arm. Turn the fingertips towards the side. Press out of the shoulder. Elbow is pretty close towards the shoulder line. It may not be directly under, so find a place that's most appropriate. Stay strong through the belly. Bend your opposite knee. Either grab for the foot and just hold, or spin the fingertips towards the toes as you press your thigh down, press your foot down, Keep the shoulder of the clasping arm open. Breathe, a little bit of back work along the way as well. And exhale, release that leg, stretch through the heel, stretch through both heels. And then release chest to the floor, hands under the shoulders, Make sure you're not powering with the upper body to lift. Get into the lower deep core. Contract the pelvic floor, come to your knees. Exhale, press up, and then sit back towards your heels. Exhale, roll yourself up to a seated position on your heels. I'll stay facing sideways. If it's comfortable to sit on your heels, great. If not, grab a block. We won't be here too long. Interlace the fingers. Staple the pointer finger or clasp hands. Let the shoulders roll open. Lift and then move forward. So inhale. Exhale. Keep the back of the neck long. Either chin tight to the chest or if you're looking up, make sure you don't just collapse right away. Keep the shoulders moving down. Now expand your lungs the next three breaths. Solely focus on that and accept any limitations. Expand into everything that awaits you in life. Release your shoulders. 
And just give yourself a nice hug around the spine. Inhale, coming upright. And releasing your arms, swing your legs around and extend them all the way out in front. Once the legs are all the way out in front, gently roll yourself back. Use your hands for help if necessary and find yourself on your mat. Bend your knees. Let's come into bridge pose, not letting the heels come tight towards the glutes. Only bring your heels no closer than what your fingertips can touch, but maybe even a hair wider. That way we're not jamming the lower back, but keeping the fluidity of a spine in a back bend or an extension. Press into your feet, and if you know your knees swing out, stick a block between them, and that will help keep them corralled. Relax to the broadness of your back. Now inhale, press into your feet. Low back sinks into the floor. Exhale, roll up. Pull your elbows and shoulders in. Press your arms into the floor. Now inhale, breathe into your lungs. No pressure on the back of the neck. Inhale through the nose. Remember, don't drop the knees out. Exhale, press into the big toe and inner heel of the foot. Let's go a few conscious breaths. You should feel glute, possibly hamstring, lower back. Inhale, lift your heels, release your shoulders, and roll your spine down. Knees into the chest, give yourself a nice hug. And then release your feet to the floor. Draw the knees open, bound angle. Allow the lower back to arch, bend your elbows, and extend your arms overhead. And let's just take three good breaths here. Maybe close the eyes. Bend your elbows to bring the arms back. Lift your legs, assisting your groin. Extend your left leg out and pull your right knee in, keeping your lower back nice and long. So gentle compression over the belly without collapsing the lower back. Inhale deeply. Now grab hold of the ankle or the calf and start to work your way possibly towards the foot. Leg slides over to the right. Watch for that rib and then slowly start to bring the leg down into a single leg happy baby. If you know your groin is tighter or your back is really collapsing, bend the extended leg, okay? And allow yourself to just work with that front leg a little bit more. If not, actively reach to the heel, pressing the leg down. Play with the position of the heel to change the release through the hamstring. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Contract just a little bit more through the opposite side. Now bend up what was the straight leg. Cross your front leg over its knee, figure four. Lace the arm through, keeping hips level and in neutral. Draw the leg in, try not to let the lower back collapse. Keep the core strong. Hold under the hamstring or on top of the shin. Flex both feet and as you draw the bottom leg towards you, try to keep the left hip moving down and your sit bones and tailbone moving towards the floor. Inhale through the nose, possibly press elbow into thigh. Exhale, create space through the tightness of your glutes and sit bones. Stay calm and just enjoy the moment. Exhale, release the legs. Nice job. Uncross. Readjust your body as you need to. And let's try the opposite side. Nice neutral pelvis. Draw the opposite knee in and extend your right leg out. Flex the feet kindly as you gently compress thigh to belly. Inhale, release the sole of the foot towards the sky. Grasp hold of the ankle, letting your lung, again, move to the inside of the thigh. 
letting your oblique tissue move to the inside of the thigh. Grab for the ankle, foot, or calf. Feel free, if I change the placement of my heel, we won't go real traditional with happy baby here, we all are built differently, I can change the release through my groin, hamstring, or attachment parts at the sit bone. Move the thigh towards the earth, relax your shoulders. You may need head support if your head is tipping backwards. Extend through the straight leg or bend in its knee. Take a good couple of breaths here. Alright, now bend the bottom leg, cross the ankle over the knee, level out the hips, bring now the left arm through the opening of the left leg, hold on to the right shin or hamstring, I have a little bit longer arms so the shin makes more sense for me, flex the feet, exhale as you bring the right leg in, keep the right leg on the right side of the body, lengthen your right hip down and possibly press out with your elbow onto your thigh. Inhale, now expand into the tight spaces of the body. Exhale, soften your jaw. Your body is not the enemy. Breathe. And now release the legs, release your lower back, extend your legs one to each corner of the mat, exhale turn your toes and knees to point in, internal rotation, and then extend your legs out, external rotation, relax the back, broaden through the upper spine, arms rest to your side, let's take a nice deep breath in, let the breath sweep up through the bottoms of the feet to the crown of the head, Exhale, let the breath sweep back down the body, through the torso, through the legs, and out the soles of the feet. Let's do that two more times. Feel free, soft eyes. Inhale, up through the portholes of the feet, legs, pelvis, torso, arms, throat, and head. Turn the breath around and clear your body of any debris. Soften everything. One more time. And exhale. Let's take the next few minutes together and just meditate and open ourselves to the word acceptance. Acceptance doesn't mean that we agree with something or someone, but rather we are allowing it to pass. allow anything that you need to in your life to pass. closed, I'll do the same. Press yourself up without tension as you bring yourself to a seated position. 
hands to the heart, gently bow the head. We have so much to be grateful for. So today as you move out into whatever it is waiting for you, don't allow one thing, one person, or one situation to take you off your game. Steer you away from your goals, your dreams, and your aspirations. Accept what is in the moment in front of you, and then move through it. Thank you so much for your time. From my heart to yours, from my soul to yours. Until I see you again. Namaste.